head over to miniaturemarket.com where they have thousands of board games at discounted prices like Deep Blue. Deep Blue is a press your luck strategy game for two to five players where each player will be running your own ship like the Calypso and be trying to get gems, diving deep, and putting them in these cool treasure chests. Over the course of the game, players are going to be sailing and moving to different dive sites where they can possibly make a lot of money finding gems. Players will be diving by taking gems out of this bag and placing it here. Sometimes they'll be worth money, sometimes they'll be bad like oxygen depletion or creatures. And if you push your luck too far, you might bust and not get any money for these gems. But you'll also be purchasing crews which help you move faster or defend against creatures or oxygen depletion to stay in the dive longer or even getting more money for gems. And even depending on where you dive and where your boat was, you might get more money for gems and you might be able to stand to water longer as well and even the leader will get some money regardless of if you bust or not. And also as a hand management aspect where the cards you play stay here until you take a turn to shuffle and draw three. And you'll be exploring the world, doing dives, until four of the sunken city tiles have been completed. Hello my friends, it's the Game Boy Geek here. Deep Blue is fantastic art and production like Days of Wonders known for. Uh, I like the different crew cards and focusing your strategies. If you get too many cards, it's going to be hard to get the ones you need. And are you going to focus on just being very conservative and being able to thwart off the, the, you know, the oxygen and the creatures? Or are you going to not even worry about those and be very risky but go for the ones that give you lots of points? There's good strategy here. Sometimes you can press luck as a leader, causing others to bust if you've gone conservative. Uh, and I like that it's easy to sort of dive into other players' uh, things that you're adjacent to. Uh, and I like that you're still scoring even if you have, if, even if you bust it as long as you have have those crew members with you so overall it's got a strategy to it. it's not just a luck game so if you don't like pressure luck this one has more strategy uh, the, per the the silver and gold were a little hard to tell apart and for a game that's 60 minutes long that's pressure luck it didn't have the big table standing moments and not enough excitement for me and what I look for in a pressure luck game uh, but if you like more strategy and ways to mitigate that have it be more uh, you know thinky than big eruptions of emotions then you want to check out deep blue did you miss the game topper 2.0 kickstarter have no fear it's not too late to get in on the ultimate gaming accessory convert your table into a high quality gaming table with a fully portable game topper system and take advantage of some of the best three millimeter premium gaming mats in the industry new styles new sizes and new accessories can be yours upgrade every game you play by late backing now at gametoppersllc.com